The Vivo X90 5G costs 25,000 rupees less than the Vivo X90 Pro 5G. So, should you buy the X90 over the X90 Pro and save your hard earned cash? Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, I'm Anya for Fiber and welcome to my full review of the Vivo X90 5G in this beautiful breeze blue colorway. But of course, before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. So there are four key differences between the Vivo X90 and the Vivo X90 Pro. Two of them fall in the design and build category. So unlike the Vivo X90 Pro, which comes uh, with a four leather back, the Vivo X90 features a smooth matte finish glass at the back, which looks beautiful and has a very pleasant in-hand feel. Although I will admit that the phone is slippery. Otherwise, everything on the Vivo X90 from the flash placement to the Zeiss branding to the circular camera module Everything looks exactly the same as the X90 Pro. Of course, the camera module and the sensors are different and we are going to talk about the camera later. But uh, be it the front profile, the button placement, the ports or even the in-display fingerprint sensor placement, everything as I said looks exactly the same making it almost impossible to distinguish between the regular and pro model which by the way is definitely not a bad thing. And yes, the fit finish is superb on the X90 also for the second difference the Vivo X90 does not come with an IP rating. And you know overall I actually prefer the in-hand feel of the Vivo X90 because of the relatively lightweight and balanced weight distribution. So I think uh, Vivo has nailed the design of the X90 5G but when did Vivo not nail a smartphone design? So uh, there's that. Now my words might seem similar to what I said in uh, the X90 Pro's uh, review but uh, practically you're getting the same display on uh, the Vivo X90 as the one that you get on the X90 Pro. Again, not a bad thing honestly, the 6.78 inches AMOLED display that you get here comes with the same Full HD Plus resolution, same adaptive 120Hz refresh rate, 1 billion colors, HDR10 Plus playback support, Vivo's inbuilt eye protection and visual enhancement features and whatnot. So on paper and in reality, the Vivo X90's display seems to be the same as the one on the Vivo X90 Pro, which as I said is not a bad thing. In fact, anyone who is going to purchase the X90 will feel good that they are not going to miss out on the multimedia prowess of the Vivo X90 Pro. The display quality guys is terrific to say the least. Brightness wise it gets you covered indoors as well as outdoors. Aesthetically it looks appealing because of the curved sides and because of the vibrant colors and superb sounding stereo speakers. Watching movies or listening to music on the Vivo X90 5G is a treat. Once again, just like the Vivo X90 Pro, the Vivo X90 features the same Dimensity 9200 SoC under the hood with up to 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. There's FunTouch OS 13 atop Android 13 when it comes to the software. Battery capacity is 4810mAh with support for 120W fast wired charging. Now unlike the Vivo X90 Pro, you don't get wireless charging on the Vivo X90 which by the way is the third difference between both phones but when it comes to the performance otherwise whatever that was good about uh, the Vivo X90 Pro is the same with the Vivo X90 5G as well. Now one thing that I did notice with the Vivo X90 was that because of the glass back the phone does get slightly warm under heavy load so when I was using the camera continuously or uh, when I was having my long sessions of gaming that's when I felt that thermals were definitely better on the X90 Pro. Again nothing alarming thermal management on a whole is good on the Vivo X90 but because of the glass back maybe uh, the X90 getting slightly warm that I was talking about that thing seemed more prominent on the X90 in comparison to the X90 Pro. One other thing that I noticed is the addition of hot apps and hot games in the Vivo X90 something that wasn't there on the X90 Pro. Again you can always disable them but I'm just putting it out there. But otherwise good to see that the bloatware on the whole isn't a lot. Overall software performance has been very stable. I am glad to report that I did not encounter any bugs on the X90 Pro and the same I can say for the X90 as well. 
Endurance wise also I had no complaints whatsoever with the Vivo X90 even if you are a medium to heavy user the X90 can easily last a full day and even if you run out of fuse before time the 120 watt fast charging ensures that the phone can charge very fast from 0 to 100% in just about 25 minutes. Also the good thing is that uh, the 120 watt charger is supplied in the box, master stroke. Finally, the fourth difference between the X90 and the X90 Pro, I am talking about the camera. So the Vivo X90 5G does not get the one inch sensor for the primary rear camera as the Vivo X90 Pro, but nevertheless, what you get here is a pretty stacked camera setup. There's a 50 megapixel primary lens with OIS coupled with a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. The front is grazed by a 32 megapixel selfie snapper. The Vivo X90 5G is a very capable shooter and shares the same DNA as the X90 Pro. Now courtesy of the Vivo V2 imaging chip, the photos taken on the Vivo X90 are simply breathtaking. Daylight photos are of course on a whole different level plus uh, when you give the X90 to a camera expert friend who clicks great photos, the results are sure shot going to be mind blowing but you know what, the thing that really impressed me about the Vivo X90 was the camera's performance in not so well lit scenarios. Even while clicking human subjects both from the front or rear camera, especially in portrait mode, the Vivo X90 does a fine job of maintaining the skin tones as true to the source, all while nailing the details and textures on the subject's face. But uh, coming back to the photos taken at night, I mean, give this phone even a little bit of artificial light around and simply snap a photo, you will be mesmerized with the end result. Otherwise, HDR performance is on point. The way the phone is able to control the highlights in post-processing is simply one of the best implementations that I've seen on a phone at this budget or even with costlier phones. Funny enough, 90% of the time I did not even have to turn on night mode to click a photo at night but still the final result always turned out to be well exposed with plenty of details and zero noise. Now for the video recording, I'm not even showing a daylight sample. In fact, I see this video shot at night in a stadium and trust me, it wasn't as lit as you are seeing right now in this video but this is the amount of clarity, colors, exposure and almost zero noise uh, that you can expect when you shoot uh, from the camera of the Vivo X90 5G. So right now I'm shooting from the front camera of the Vivo X90 5G. This is the 1080p 60fps uh, video recording sample uh, just like the X90 Pro. This one is also limited to 1080p recording from the front camera which is a limitation that I've also pointed out in the X90 Pro review video. That said, the 1080p sample looks like this. I think the phone does a fabulous job again for a 1080p video recording. Again, it's a affordable flagship phone. Uh, yeah, performance is expected from it. But yeah, this is the kind of HDR performance that you get. I'm shooting against the sun. And uh, this is how the colors look. Colors look quite vibrant. I like the color science uh, of uh, Vivo. And uh, this is the stabilization. Stabilization, I would say, is decent. It's not the best for a front camera. But yeah, it gets the job done. How does my audio sound? Let me know everything in the comments. How does the overall quality look like? Let me know in the comments. Long story short, the Vivo X90 5G is a well-rounded smartphone and all the bells and whistles that you expect in a high-end phone, well, you are getting all of them right here. So, should you buy the Vivo X90 5G over the Vivo X90 Pro 5G? Well, yes and no. Let me explain. You see, for that pure camera performance courtesy of the 1-inch sensor and the superior portrait lens, the Vivo X90 Pro is a clear choice and the Pro model is going to appeal to all the photography enthusiasts out there. That said, the Vivo X90 is a pretty capable shooter in its own right and if you decide to go for the X90 over the X90 Pro, not only will you get the same sheer performance as the higher end model but you'll also save some cash. Fiber rates, the Vivo X90 5G are solid 8 out of 10 but yes guys, that was my review of the smartphone. Let me know all your thoughts about the Vivo X90 5G in the comments below and as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you.